Hello, hello, hello. Kalina here, otherwise known to the Littles as Aunt Kalina. As one of my previous posts mentioned, I've partnered with Carly Mintlick of Inner Rainbow Project and the creator of the Camp Chakra Kids to bring you a virtual camp very, very soon. Keep a lookout on all my socials to find out details. To tide you over, here are 108 tips for balancing your kids' chakras. Here is a message from Carly. Hey there, keeper of small beings. It's never too early to start teaching our children that they have the power to help themselves balance their emotions and feel the way that they want to feel. When we don't give access to this knowledge, we send the message that the path to happiness and being your best self is a big, elusive secret. The truth is, the power to balance our energy and cultivate our happiness is something that we already have within ourselves. And the good news is that we can start in any moment to practice listening to our inner voices. We all deserve to have access to the opportunity to build our toolkit of ways to increase our happiness and fulfillment. Here's a list of 108 ways to balance your emotions, build happiness, and be your best true self. I've consciously chosen all of the items on the list to include ideas for different learning styles and personalities, things that can be done without spending money to support holistic balance and wellness. You'll see that some of them, for example, look for the positives in any situation, are mindset-based and help you to plant the seeds for practices your children work on building throughout their life. The categories are inspired by the Western psychological approach to the chakra system. You don't need any knowledge of this to participate, but if you're familiar with it, you can also use the ideas in the individual categories to support balancing your chakras. Share this list with your children and participate in it with them. Add to the list with your own ideas. Small acts and intentions made with devotion and consistency are what create change. Love, Carly. Okay, let's dive in. The pages are set up with three sections. Problem, solution, and then the ideas that you need to try to balance the chakras. Problem number one, help. My child isn't connected with our family and home life. They spend all day in their room. They don't want to spend any time with the family. Solution, work on their base or red chakra. This chakra takes care of your family, your home, healthy body, and nature. Try to encourage your children to do some of the following to balance out the chakra, but don't forget to do it yourself as well. Watch the sunrise. Tell your family you love them. Go to bed early. Sleep late. Bake cookies. Clean your room. Drink enough water. Take a walk without your phone. Learn something new about your culture. Cook your favorite meal. Wear your pajamas all day long. Have a family movie night. Spend time in nature. Use earthy essential oils like cedar wood, frankincense, or patchouli. Look in the mirror and say, I love and care for my body. Plant some vegetable or flower seeds and help them grow. Problem number two. Help! My child struggles with friendships and gets stressed when plans change. Solution. Work on their sacral or orange chakra. This chakra takes care of creativity, friendship, passion, and joy. Try to encourage your child to do some of the following to balance out this chakra. Dance. Call a friend. Learn something new about one of your friends. Take a long bath or shower. Go swimming. Do something that you love. Do a craft using only materials that you have at home. Paint, draw, or sculpt something. Make up your own dance routine or skit. Plan a party. Although in COVID times, it may be a party that is on Zoom. 
Cheer someone up who's feeling down. Laugh and be silly. Look for the positives in every situation. Build a fort. Watch a funny video. Or go to a playground, beach, or amusement park. Problem number three. Help! My child lacks self-confidence and is very cautious and won't take risks. They don't like learning anything new and they have an intense fear of failure. Solution. Work on their solar plexus or yellow chakra. This chakra takes care of your confidence, your resilience, adventure, and inner power. These are some of the things that you can do to balance out this chakra. Try something new. Set a goal and work towards it. Make a playlist of songs that energize you. Go for a run or a bike ride. Try again after you fail at something. Think of someone who inspires you to try your best. Take a risk to do something that makes you nervous. Make a fire or light a candle. Go outside and yell as loud as you can. Soak up some sunshine. Give yourself a superhero name. Pick a superhero power for yourself. Stand like a superhero. Legs wide, chest out, chin up, hands on the hips. Use positive affirmations like, I can do this and I am strong. Do lion's breath. Inhale, stick out your tongue, exhale, and say, ha! Problem number four. Help! My child is having a struggle with loving and accepting themselves and can't seem to forgive themselves for not being perfect. It's not to some of our kids, right? Solution. Work on their and your heart and green chakra. This chakra takes care of self-love, kindness, gratitude, and service. Try to encourage your child and yourself to do some of the following to balance out this chakra. List the things that you're grateful for. Love yourself for who you are. Don't gossip. Do a random act of kindness. Forgive yourself for a mistake that you made. Forgive someone else for hurting your feelings. That one's a hard one. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Give someone a hug. Give yourself a hug. Make a gift for a friend. Send a handwritten letter to a family member. Donate the things that you don't need. Volunteer somewhere in your community. Don't compare yourself to others. That one's a difficult one, too. Include someone who feels left out. And be kind to animals. Okay, problem number five. Help! My child struggles to stand up for what they believe in and hides their true self, almost like they're embarrassed. Solution. Work on their throat or blue chakra. That one takes care of self-expression voice, communication, and activism. Encourage your child to do some of the following to balance out this chakra. Sing out loud. Learn to play an instrument. Listen to music. Write down some of your favorite quotes. Stand up for someone who is being treated badly. Share how you really feel, even if others disagree. Listen to others without interrupting. Share your feelings with someone you trust. Spend a day with no phone, screen free. Help raise awareness for an important cause. Use social media to spread kindness. Don't follow the crowd if it's not what you really want to do. Make a sign with your favorite saying and hang it in your room. Create a personal motto. Problem number six. Help. 
My child is full of stressful energy and uses a lot of negative talk. Can't sleep, never sits still, has trouble concentrating. Solution, work on their third eye or indigo chakra. That one's for mindfulness, relaxation, solitude, and inner peace. Encourage your child to do some of this. Focus on the present moment. Write your feelings down in a journal. Spend quiet time alone. Look at the night sky. Meditate. Stay home all weekend. Release your negative thoughts. Imagine all the muscles in your body relaxing. Make a playlist of songs that calm you down. Do some yoga poses. Take a nap. Drink tea or hot lemon water. Close your eyes and imagine a peaceful, relaxing scene. Take three deep breaths. Write a list of ways to calm down when you're stressed. Make a Zen sand garden. Problem seven. Help. My child doesn't like to use their imagination or doesn't think about their future or see the possibility in anything. Solution. Work on their crown or purple chakra. That's for imagination, hopes, dreams, and possibilities. Encourage your child to do some of these things to balance that chakra out. Dress up in a costume. Write down your dreams and try to figure out what they mean. Daydream. Create a new invention. Make a vision board. Visit somewhere you've never been. Maybe during COVID times, it can be on a computer. Draw a magical creature that's never been seen. Learn about times people overcame difficult situations to find happiness and success. Use your imagination to design a new school, the classes, teachers, the setting, any details that you want. Play a game you loved when you were little. Watch a fantasy movie. Learn a magic trick. Start a crystal collection. Envision the future that you want to have. Number 108, follow your dreams. Some tips for using the list. Choose a category that you feel drawn to and pick one item from that category to complete. Write down and hang up the list somewhere where you can see it often. Make a check next to the things on the list that you've already done. Make a star next to the list of the things that you want to do most. Repeat the things that you connect with the most. The things that you're naturally drawn to are part of your unique toolkit for a confident and colorful life. Want your own copy of the tips? You can download it from the link that I'll put in the description below. I am very excited about the upcoming camp. Remember, it's totally free. Keep an eye on all my socials for the details. The next thing that you'll need to look for is the introduction of all of the Shocker kids and hopefully even an interview with Carly herself for all their backstories. Don't know what a Shocker is or how to explain it to your littles? Don't worry. I will start at the basics in the camp and I'll help you through every bit of it. I am also happy to announce that there will be free giveaways to the winners of weekly drawings during the quote-unquote live virtual camp. But don't worry if you can't make it to the camp that week if you still want to watch. I'm going to leave up the replays for you. I'm super excited about the upcoming events, you guys, and I hope to, to see you soon.